Strictly Comics is now accepting books for pressing and cleaning services. For deals and promotions, go to Facebook at Strictly Comics. Click the services tab for pricing and get a free quote. All right, what's up, everybody? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics, and I'm doing things a little bit different. Wanted to kind of do a vlog or whatever, so I've actually been wanting to do vlogs for a while. Just It's kind of hard sometimes, especially when you're at work. So I got a little bit of time while I'm at work, while I'm waiting on something. So I'm going to go ahead and do this... Uh, this unboxing, uh, fragile, do not bend, uh, seller seemed to have done a good job, uh, and I have nothing to cut with, uh, but anyways, I bought this off of Facebook. So, to see what I got, here it is. I got my first copy of Hulk 181. I have been doing a lot of cleaning and pressing. I've been saving some money. I've been selling some stuff as well. And so I used actually most of that money uh, to get this. And I will talk a little bit about buying and selling on Facebook because Facebook and Instagram, because it's the thing that a lot of people are doing now. Because you don't want to pay the fees that you have to pay with sites like uh, PayPal or uh, eBay. I'm really excited to have this, man. I'm so excited. I never thought... Oh! <laughs> I never thought that I would have a copy, guys, to be honest with you. And if anybody knows me, I don't need near mint. I don't need near mint. This is a decent mid-grade copy for me. This is a decent mid-grade copy. I'm totally happy with this. It's actually in better shape than my uh, Hulk 180. So I'm really happy to have this. Uh, I can't wait to clean it up, to press it, show before and after results. I know you guys are going to like that. He said it had the Marvel value stamp as well. Which he showed me a picture of. The staples look pretty tight. There's no staple rust, which is awesome. He did say it had some uh, pencil marking up in the corner, which he showed a picture of. Uh, let me show you real quick. So, like, there's like this pencil mark. So I could get that out though. That's not an issue to me. Um, it's on a couple pages. I don't know. That's the only page. Um, there's no cutouts. There's no writing from what I can tell. It appears to be a very nice copy. Uh, I can't wait to read this. Got to go through every page real, real quick, guys. Just, you know, we have to inspect these books, especially a major purchase like this. It's got some manufacturing tears near the bottom on a few, two or three pages. Uh, there's the Marvel value stamp right there. So it is intact. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and uh, it looks to be fine. It looks to be fine. Now, he had this at about a 5.0. Would I agree with that grade? Um, maybe I know CGC is, is, is not as hard on grading, especially with books like this. So, uh, I would honestly put it at, at least that, at least a 5.0. I probably would have to assume that after a cleaning and a pressing, this would probably be in the 7.0 range. Maybe. So we'll see if I decide to go that route. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, that's it. I don't want this video to go on too long. Plus, I want to talk a little bit about um, buying and selling on, on Instagram and Facebook. So be right back with that. Okay, so you saw what I bought. Let's talk about this a little bit. Let's kind of talk about buying and selling on Instagram and 
Facebook. The reason why I want to talk about this is because it can involve, I think, trust issues, which is probably one of the first things that really comes into people's mind when you buy on these type of platforms because, I mean, let's face it, eBay is a trusted uh, source and they're actually there to protect the buyer more so than the seller. So you have like uh, PayPal, you have like, you know, your buyer protection through them and through eBay. So when it comes to these other platforms, most people want you to buy something through friends and family, which there's nothing wrong with that. I, I highly recommend it if you're buying from somebody you know. But if you're buying from somebody who you do not know, what I recommend is paying that 3% extra and buying something through goods and services versus friends and family. And of course, the reason being, you protect yourself more so in case anything happens. Now, God forbid something should happen, but let's just face it, man, something can happen. Like somebody can just totally screw you over. They could, I mean, because, I mean, there's almost like a, I haven't read it in a while, but I think there's like some kind of disclaimer or something for uh, uh, PayPal, like basically for the friends and family part, basically saying like, there's not going to be any record. It's going, it, it's going to you. There's not going to be any fees. There's not going to be any kind of, uh, basically like any kind of uh, uh, consequences if something were to happen to any purchase or anything like that. I'm, I'm obviously paraphrasing here, but uh, I think that's what I recall uh, reading when I read it, you know, quite a few years ago. But my point is, is that pay the extra 3%. And now obviously for like a thousand dollar Hulk 181, your 3% is going to be 30 bucks. Guys, you get what you pay for. Don't be cheap. Pay the 3%. Pay the extra 30 bucks. Cover your butt because I basically bought that from somebody who I've never bought from uh, who I've never bought from before on Facebook. But when I see it, it was such a good deal. I couldn't pass up. I'm like, man, I really want this. And sure enough, when he posted it, it wasn't online for an hour before I bought it. And most people were like, man, this ain't going to last long. And when I read them, I'm like, you know what? They're right. And because I clean and press, I had the uh, potential to uh, upgrade it, you know, make it more valuable through cleaning and pressing. But anyways, because I'd never bought from this guy before, I was like, you know what? I better not get cheap on this one. Let me go ahead and pay the 3%, cover my own butt through goods and services. I did. I got my package relative pretty quickly, uh, in fact. So I was really happy with my purchase. So let's talk a little bit about selling. When you sell something, sometimes people are pretty uh, skeptical on uh, whether or not they should be buying from you. And I've been trying to sell, do raffles and stuff like that on other people's Facebook pages. And what I usually do is uh, I will post what I have for sale or whatever I'm raffling. And then I will also leave links to every single social media platform that I'm on. And in some cases, I leave my phone number just in case they have any questions or concerns. Because when you're selling, man, I don't want any bad customer service experiences or anything like that if anything I try to go above and beyond for people so that they get comfortable with me as a seller and they get comfortable as a buyer because you want your experience to be uh, comfortable between the two of you you want it to be a good experience and you don't want any issues so that's why I do that so in saying that whatever you're posting give them any kind of any and all points of contact uh, that they can get from you and the other thing is when it comes to selling I think one of the reasons why a lot of people have become comfortable with me is because a lot of people watch my videos on YouTube they can kind of they can have they, they have a certain level of discernment to look and tell that hey look no hands everybody <laughs> they have a, a, a certain uh, sense of discernment to where they can look and tell you know that I'm not going to screw them over, and I'm not out here just to get their money. And and let's let's look at, let's look at that side of the coin. How far can I expect to get if I'm just screwing people over, man? I'm thinking long term. I'm looking at like trying to uh, uh, buy and sell for the long run, not just I got to get this money here and now. You know I'm going to screw everybody over because let's just face it, man, that ain't going to last long. People are going to call you out. People are going to put you on blast. 
like you're gonna have to have a different identity on Facebook or Instagram if you're gonna buy or sell so you know but these are just some things I want to talk about real quick don't want this video to go on too long but if you have any questions or concerns you know uh, hit me up like I always say make sure you like share comment subscribe definitely comment in the comment section I would kind of love to hear uh, everybody else's thoughts on this matter and uh, sorry I got to do a video while I'm driving but I've always wanted to kind of do this type of vlog so uh, I hope you guys like it but anyways uh, keep God first in your life have a great weekend everybody and uh, I'll see you next week peace